Cesar, I love you. Mark Anthony. Hi, welcome in things that you might not know about. Born in 69 or 70 BC, um, uh, yeah, there is no contemporary accounts existing of Cleopatra's life, so it's hard to be absolutely sure about anything. That's all. Cleopatra was a daughter of Ptolemy, and her mother was believed to be Cleopatra V, who also was the half-sister of her father. <laughs> oh, starting well. She was... <laughs> she triarched. Despite being born in Egypt, she traced her family origin to Macedonian Greece. And she also was, <laughs> as said before, the project of an incest. You know at the time, royal blood, Tusa Tusa. So members of the Ptolemaic family often married each other within the family to preserve the purity of the blood. Oh my, pure blood. Voldemort would have been so proud. Cleopatra ruled ancient Egypt. Oh, that's who was hard to say. Cleopatra ruled ancient Egypt as co-regent, first with her father, then with her two younger brother, and then finally with her son, because why not? Dago! She was a very well and structured, educated and clever woman and could speak various languages. According to Plutarch, at least nine. Ethiopian, Trogro, di, tro, go, glo, tro. This one I'm gonna write it, okay? Hebrew, Arabic, Aramaic, Median, Persian, Egyptian, and Greek. Whew, was hard. <laughs> However, Plutarch does not mention Latin, which is quite surprising, knowing that she spent some time in Rome and had to interact with Roman. At the time, Romans all spoke Greek. So maybe she didn't need to learn, or maybe she didn't want to. <laughs> I understand you're upset, but your people should start to speak Latin. Okay. Go off track, live life, and never come back. The throne passed to her when she was 18, and to her 10 years old brother, Ptolemy 13, who, after the civil war and after many years and lots of problem, has attempted to flee or was seeking negotiation. It's uncertain. The important part is that he has been reported drowned. After that, she married the younger brother, Ptolemy 14. <sighs> so original. <laughs> Go away, truck. We had a deal. Believed to had 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 but she is believed to have had him murdered as well because she did that to her sister hi and she was kind of involved in the civil war before because you fly here on the river it's raining it's raining it's raining on their mind I know this is not the lyric, okay? Cleopatra's beauty was a myth. Um, I'm not saying she's ugly, right? Well, she's, <laughs> she was, because now she's just dead. But she might have been known more for her intellect than her appearance. There is indeed evidence that she wasn't as physically striking as once believed. But it's obvious that she had something more, because you do not become deeply involved with Caesar and Mark Anthony, just like that. 
but it wasn't all physical. Irresistible. Plutarch said that a conversation with Cleopatra had an irresistible charm, while Dio will tell us that she had the most delicious voice and a knowledge of how to make herself pleasable to everybody. Almost everybody. We'll see that after. Hello, Rainbow. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. As you already probably know, Cleopatra was Caesar's lover, and she joined him in Rome in 46 BC and brought their son with her. That's the one with who she will rule later. In 44 BC, Caesar was stabbed to death. It was Sibyl Fis, you son of She was then forced to flee Rome. She was then... Oh! second one but no time to waste soon after soon uh, in 41 bc the love affair with mark antony began even though their relationship had a political component they were also very fond of each other they even formed their own drinking society known as the inimitable livers and eventually they got married creating a big scandal in rome again Cleopatra, what a drama queen. The Roman Senate. I am the Senate. After Antony's rival, Octavian, portrayed him as a traitor, declared war on Cleopatra. No! She will personally lead a several dozen Egyptian warships into the fray alongside Antony's fleet. Yeah! But Octavian's navy kicked their butt. Ah. Ah. Mm. After this defeat, Mark Antony killed himself. Oh no, 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 I'm alright. Ah, oh, kill yourself. Oh, alright. Damn it. Cleopatra will soon do the same. Even though a legend that I really like says that she died enticing a nasp, cobra or viper, to bite her. No one really know what happened. She was also known to keep a deadly poison in one of her hair combs. Which, I think, might be more efficient. No, you don't have to run after it. It's time for me to die. Come back. In any cases, she died at 39 after 20 years of rule. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, share, as always, do whatever you want. And don't forget, happiness is right under your nose. So smile. That's my ear. Am I weird like that? Thank you tu serais ton nom tu n'es pas concentré